start, we're, we're actually kind of preparing for Thanksgiving already because it is right around the corner and you know if you're the house that's having the party, there's a lot of preparation that goes into that. So without further ado, please welcome Randy Felton. Yeah. Our chef And you know what? You always come with a fancy schmancy something. We gotta have something. It's not just a pork loin, which, and I love oh, pork it, loin, it, it's very it's, easy. It's not turkey. It's not turkey. And I love turkey. I mean, we've done yeah. like at least nine or ten turkey recipes to the point where one of my sous chefs always laughs. He's like, oh, City Line Monday, you doing turkey? <laughs> we so, like our turkey. I know we do. But you said no, you put your foot down. You're like, I'm doing pork. You got to change right? it up every once in a while. Yeah, you do. You know? Okay, but you're stuffing it with everything in your kitchen. Coconut pineapple kale. Kale's really cool. That's Kale's really cool. in right now. Super yeah. green, right? Coconut, pineapple. It, we have they a little, together. it's inspired. We have a pizza on at our pizza restaurant. And instead of doing like the Hawaiian, we got to put a twist on. So we put dried coconut on top. Ooh. We call it the St. Lucia. Oh, see, I'm, I'm acting all like I'm into it, but yeah. I actually hate that sweetness on a pizza. Oh, I know. However, how, I just thought I'd be real. I'm sorry. No, listen. However, I would go for that with my pork loin. Everybody knows everyone likes their pork with something a little bit sweet. Like that's like a, an old tradition. Do you remember pork with apple like pork my mom used to do the giant ham and she'd have the yes. pork rings with the with the cherry on top. Totally. Delicious. That's Delicious. Like old, that's old school. It's a classic marriage. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so, so this today, is new school. This is new school. We're going to do something and we know that we can find pork loins. I'm going to come onto your board today. Yeah, go We're going to share a board. Let's share. Let's want to share. I think we can do it. Pork loin. Here we go. This is super cheap. That's a I big mean, sucker. it's a nice little center cut, right? Yeah. A little bit of fat is what you're after as well. So today, what we're going to focus on is what to do with a large piece of meat like this. Because usually the pork loin that I get at the grocery store, it comes in like that long, slim band, right? E this one you know came about? in a much larger kind of a crowvac kind of thing. Right. Yeah, but you can you can get them without the fat cap on. I prefer the fat cap on. Now, here's the beginning part of something wonderful. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. We want to do, let's just get rid of this. You want to stuff it, so you got to get in there, right? You got to get in there, but instead of buttering it, flying it like in one way, we're going to pinwheel it. I don't even know what you're saying right now. So, okay, what is a butter? <laughs> what do you mean by butter flying it? Like, instead of going right down the middle, mm. where you were with the chicken breast and banging it out, you're gonna we're going to pinwheel, gonna pinwheel it. it. So we're going to make, like, ro like, roll it up. Like, roll it out. Check that was it pretty out. cool, man. That was pretty simple, right? Well, now, here comes the fun cool. part, right? Okay. I kind of messed up our saran wrap, but no, that's not bad. we want to put some saran wrap on top of there, okay. and we want to bang it out to tenderize it. Now, normally you would use a meat mallet. Mm -hmm. I never seem to have a meat mallet in my house, but I always have a lot of empty wine bottles. Yeah. I don't know if your house yeah. is like my house. Can I do the honors? I want you to give it a go. So just tell me the technique here. Just a nice like. Like that. Yeah. Oh. See. You know, treat it nice and like massage it a little bit, right? Why do you do this anyways? What Why this do you is gonna tenderize? do is just gonna tenderize the meat a little bit, and if you did kind of miscut, you're thicker in one spot and a little thinner in others, it will make it nice and gradual and even. Done. Now. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. Crazy, ladies and gentlemen, perfection. Whenever you open up a pork loin, if you're gonna open up a large cut of meat, you really need to take advantage of it. So what do we do? A little salt, a little, little pepper. Little salt, right? Little Papa. Now our stuffing, we obviously don't have time to do it completely. Luckily, I have some here. We use fresh coconut. Don't be afraid to buy this at the grocery store. I always wanted one of these when I was a kid. I always went to the grocery shop with my mom. I had to have the coconut. Yeah. I opened it once at the end of the harvest table, put some big cracks in it. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> Screamed at me. Better, better method, take a large knife, whack it in half like this. It'll crack yeah. open. Away you go. You got your goodness. I think what's cool, though, is that you can actually find that in the supermarket now. Yeah. They're, they're everywhere. They're, sure. they're at the grocery store. And the great. coconut water. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's good for you if you really have too much you. wine the night before. That's right. Pineapple. Rehydrate. Um, how do you know when it's ripe? You want to see, you know, a good. darker. Smells great in the bottom. And uh -huh. if you take something from the middle and it comes out, you're it's good ready. to go. Right? I hate cutting pineapple. Kind really? of a bane of my existence. Well, look at it. It's but prickly. It's no, like... no, no. You just cut it down the top and you open it up and away we go. So you mixed all this together. You yep. what did you do? You put your you cut up your pineapple, your coconut, and your kale, and you just uh, what? Sautéed it off. Sautéed it for a the little bit. The reason why you can do this two days in advance if you want. I wouldn't recommend. If you want to leave it in raw, you can, but you infuse a bit more flavors with the coconut. We toast the coconut, the garlic, things like that, right? Mm. Now, I'm so if you happy cook you're the pineapple, pineapple has an enzyme that'll actually break down the meat. Okay. So if you cook it, that enzyme kind of just stays. Um, Neutral, so it won't do that. Look at this roll. So there we go. So is that for one person? No, this is your family. 
Depends on how much you eat, I suppose. Depends on what kind of family you come from. Butcher twine. I was just telling the audience, we have every single meat possible for our Thanksgiving dinner. Really? Like everything. Lamb, beef, oh. turkey. I don't get to have lamb at duck? home. No. Pork, everything. Why? Uh, Sarah doesn't eat lamb. Oh, okay. So I eat lamb at the restaurant. Yeah. Sometimes, I'd hiding coward sure. in a closet, right? Sometimes Sarah goes vegetarian, and then I yeah. bake them at the restaurant. Okay. Yeah, That's so no problem good. at all, yeah. So no lamb at home. No lamb. But we do You're we a good do husband, pork. though, for doing that. Well, you can Because that'd be very tempting, right? Oh, if sure, you it sure. And she it. But then, you know, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Oh, look what I prepared for dinner tonight. You're not going to have any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't marry a vegetarian. So you tie it up like a little present. Three little three little ties is not a big deal. It's not that Just difficult. You could do the butcher tie, but this is a little bit easier. Okay. Right? And then always take a little salt. A little pepper. A little pepper. Okay. And there's enough pork fat on the top, you really don't need to olive oil it. Here so we go. So that's why you like the fat, what did you call it, the fat hat, the fat cap? The fat cap, a little crackling. <laughs> it is, look at it, it's a nice little fat chapeau. Okay. So, <laughs> everyone always says, how do you know when it's done? How do you know when it's done? I know, you just could pull a thermometer and that's kind of cheating. So what we're gonna do, five, 475 degrees, okay. dead air oven, 25 minutes. All Think, right. right? Perfect. Then shut it down to 250 for another 25 minutes. 50 minutes in total, you ready? We're ready. Drum roll, please. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's some good looking there it pork. Is. So later on oh, in the show, yeah. we're going to let this rest for 20 minutes. We're going to carve this open. We'll see the pinwheel, and we'll do some, some carrots and some potatoes. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Let's do that. So we're also putting that on our website. That is going to be ridiculously popular, I can tell. Let's Brilliant. go to break. More coming up.